This motor driver can control up to two DC motors at a constant current of 1.2 ampere, 3.2 ampere peak. Two input signals, IN1 and IN2, can be used to control the motor in one of four function modes clockwise, counterclockwise, short break, and stop. The two motor outputs, A and B, can be separately controlled. The speed of each motor is controlled via a PWN input signal with a frequency up to 100 kHz. The standby pin should be pulled high to take the motor out of standby mode. Now let's do a motor driving test with this module. First, connect the unit board to computer to download the program. Then right-click computer, go to properties, click device manager, and click port. You can see Arduino Uno R3 COM5. Now let's take a look at the code first to see if we need to add libraries. You can see no libraries needed. Now open Arduino IDE, click tools. For board, select Arduino Uno. For port, select COM5. The same with the settings in Device Manager. Directly copy the program and paste it here. Click Verify to check compiling mistakes. If codes are correct, click Upload to upload the program to the board. After uploading is done, let's do the wire connection. First, disconnect the Uno board. Pay attention not to reverse negative and positive end to avoid damage to the module. According to the sketch, connect VCC to 5 volt, GND to GND. Another GND also connect to GND. PWMA to D10. ARN2 connect to D3. ARN1 to D2. Stand by to D4. BIN1 to D5. BIN2 to D6. PWMB to D11. Ground to ground. Also, ground to ground. Now connect the two motors. A01 and A02 connect to the two ends of motor A. B02 and B01 connect to the two ends of motor B. Insert the module to the breadboard with pins corresponding to each other. Now plug the external power supply into Uno power supply port. Power supply wire negative connect to ground. Positive connect to VM. After power is on, you can see the motor is rotating. According to the program, the motor is rotating clockwise for one second, stop for one second, then rotating counterclockwise for one second, and repeat cycle. Here you can see the speed of two motors are different. Test is now complete. Thank you.